Itália, uh, we are looking at a uh, couple of stream, and we are looking at this topic uh, integration uh, by substitution, which we call the U substitution. Uh, let's look at this question uh, to uh, explain integration by substitution. So look at this question, we have find the integral of uh, 3 times uh, this expression to power 3. So what we do in integration by substitution is very simple. We look for the inner function, and in this case it's 2x plus 1. Whereby, when you differentiate this inner function, 2x plus 1, it's going to give you something similar or exactly the same uh, figure or expression. Okay, so without wasting time, let's uh, u be equal to the inner function. Then differentiate your u with respect to the function, respect to x, dx. Okay, so what this all means is the u, uh, the x is equal to what? 2. Then you cross multiply, uh, cross multiply, then you have the u equal to what? 2 uh, dx. I will be using uh, the u dx in my uh, u substitution. So that's all we have now. So we can now go back to this question. So this question will now become, uh, okay, then integral of this will be equal to what? Uh, that will be u, this power 3, plus 1, that's 4, all over 4, uh, plus c. And then finally, you are going to substitute back your u. Your u is what? 2x plus 1 to the power 4, all over 4, plus c. And that finished that uh, question. Yeah, next question, uh, find integral of uh, this one. If you look at the function, the inner function is what? Is uh, x to power 2, okay? So, and when you differentiate this one respect to x, they are going to have what? The surrounding what? Uh, figure, which is what? 2x, okay? So, let what? Let u be equal to what? This inner function. Then differentiate that, the u is equal to what? Uh, 2x, uh, dx. So our integral now can be written as what? Cos s squared times what? Uh, 2x uh, dx. We can bring this one together, 2x uh, dx. Let me give substitute now. Then we now have integral of, integral of cos u, and then this one is what? Uh, du. So integral of uh, cos u is sine uh, sin u. So then the next thing to do now is to return back, uh, return back your, your u, which will be equal to what? Sine x squared plus what plus c. So that's that on this. Uh, the next thing we want to look into now is a basic integration formula. Uh, integral of k uh, dx, okay, will be equal to, this k is an integer, so you can take it outside the integration, that will be k integral of what? Uh, dx. And anytime you are integrating d of a function, it will give you what? That function. Integral of d, the q, will give you what? give you uh, this and then don't forget there's a k outside plus times k and then plus the constant of integration plus c okay. then the second one is a general integration how to integrate uh the power plus one all over whatever you have here n plus one and then plus the constant of integration then the third one is the integral of a uh, cosine uh, cosine but in this case we're going to have a constant here. This a is an integer, okay? So what we need to do is to find the integral of cosine, which is what? A uh, sine of your function, okay? And again, you have to divide by the attachment to that function. By the what? Attachment to the function. What attaches to x is what? Is a. So that's one over, one over a. Or I can say you divide by the Derivative of this inner function. Derivative of this inner function. The a could be 3, could be minus 3. So when you have a uh, derivative of this one, dds of this, okay, will give you what? Minus 3. So you divide by that, by that, and then plus what? The constant of integration. Number 4. Uh, integral of sine, okay, will give you what? When you integrate uh, sine, that will be minus cos uh, the function, and then plus the constant of integration. And don't forget to what? To divide by the derivative of this function. And that'll be what? 1 over what? 1 over a. Uh, the fifth one is an uh, integral of sec squared. The function, okay? When you integrate a uh, sec squared, it gives you tan. Tan of the function, okay? Plus the constant of integration. And again, don't forget this is what? 1 over what? 1 over a. You have to divide your answer by the derivative of the inner function. 
the sixth one, integral of cosec square, the function, csc square, the function, uh, the x, this will give us what? Uh, minus what? Minus cos, uh, the function, then you divide by what? By the derivative of this inner function, plus, uh, plus c. Then the seventh one, uh, integral of sec this, uh, times, uh, times uh, this, will give us what? Will give us a uh, uh, sec the function, then you divide by what? Derivative of this function. We, we must note that whatever you have here for this uh, rule to be applicable, what you have here and here must be the same thing. Okay? Must be constant of integration. The next one, integral of this will give us what? This is a, so this will give us what? Minus uh, this plus uh, c. Then you divide by what? By the derivative of the inner function. This function, this function must be the same thing. And the next one, integral of this, and uh, will give us what? Well, LA for the function uh, plus c. I want to both press more on this. Whenever the derivative, the derivative is equal to numerator, it's going to give you LA of that function. And there is an exception to this rule. You could have an uh, integral of 1 over uh, this, Okay, or well, let me say uh, 1 over plus or minus, plus or minus c. Uh, 1 over uh, integral of 1 over x plus or minus c. What we are saying in this case is that irrespective of the constant you are adding or you are subtracting, it's still going to give you what? ln what? ln uh, of the function uh, plus, plus c. So what I'm saying is that if you, if you are adding anything without plus 2 or minus 2, it's going to give you back what? The uh, ln. Of what of that function because it doesn't change anything. The derivative of this place is still what is equal to what is equal to one. Anytime the derivative is equal to what the numerator, you're going to have the element of what of the of the function. Another exception, another uh, addition to this, you could also have one over what one over this uh, the x yeah the x okay. In this case now, the derivative of this place is what is two. Okay, so you can manipulate this place times 2 and then you remove it outside and that will also give you what? This will give you 1 over 2 ln uh, of, the, of the function plus 1 plus c. Yeah, at this point, if you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe, kindly click on the, uh, the watermarks on the video and subscribe. Like, click on like button and be here to type your comments. And finally, share the links of this video all your social media platform. Uh, the next basic formula is integral of 1 over square root of 1 a squared minus 1 s squared. So this will give us this will give us a uh, x sign uh, x over a plus 1 plus c. Your a is what? Your a is a real number. Then the next one is integral of 1 over uh, a squared plus x squared uh, dx uh, dx. This will give us what? Um, at 10, uh, this one, x over a. When you have a squared plus s squared, you are going to divide by what? By the one of this. This is the real number, one of this, okay? One over a. Let me complete this example of this case. Imagine you have one over 16 plus x squared uh, dx, okay? So this will be equal to um, integral of one over 16 is a four squared plus x squared uh, dx. And this will be equal to at time, at time, one of this, x over one of this, and then your a is what? Your a is a 4, 1 over what? 1 over 4, and plus c. Yeah, another one is the integral of 1 over, uh, this is almost similar to this, uh, s squared minus a squared uh, dx. Okay, so this will be equal to um, at sec uh, x over a uh, plus c. 1 over what? Oh, the cos time, 1 over a. Then the next one, integral of exponential function e to power ax. a is what? a is an integer. It could be positive or negative. Okay? So in this case now, anytime you have exponential, it will be the same thing also, exponential, the same thing also, but you must divide by the derivative of the power. And that's 1 over, one over a. Or you must divide by the attachment to that function. Attachment to that function, in this case, is a plus 1 plus plus c. So, so that's that on basic uh, integration formula. So you must familiar, familiarize yourself with these uh, basic formula.
Try to make a integration, okay, easy for you.